Hi, I'm Mel and I am Double Pisces Tarot and today I am doing a reading for Pisces. I feel something unexpected is coming towards you, Pisces. This could be something material. This could be something from a person. This could be words. Okay. Messages for Pisces. So we have mature man. Mature man, this could be me. This could be me. This could be you. This could be someone else, but there could have been some kind of ending with this person person could be wise they could be a teacher a traveler and I was looking at the the globe there but there could have been an ending with you and this person because they could have been hiding something this person this person is wearing some kind of mask there could be two people involved in this We've got journey coming out. So this person could be making a journey towards you. This, I feel this person is on some kind of journey of their own. But I feel this person is hiding something from you. Okay, we'll grab some tarot out. And we'll see... What divine would like you to know today, Pisces? I feel this person is sad over some kind of ending. Could have Virgo in their chart. Messages for Pisces. So we have the Eight of Coins or the Eight of Pentacles. Then the Eight of Swords. I felt that card was going to come out in the reading today. The Eight of Cups. Eights could be coming out to you. Eights could be significant. 888. Manifestation. Feel like you're working on something that you have been manifesting. This could be something in the material world for you, Pisces. We've got Magus or the Magician. Virgo energy. Center of your reading today, Pisces. got the hermit Virgo energy so Magus and the hermit are both Virgo so this person could have Virgo in their chart we've got the tower coming out Aries energy this mature man that you had some kind of ending with they don't actually have to be male they could just be in that masculine energy of learning being a teacher being wise with the Six of Cups. But that's, you know, that's the image they portray to others because this person is hiding something from you. Someone wise would know it's not really that wise to lie. We've got the Ace of Staffs. The 
the two of wands and the two of swords so twos could be coming out to you two 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 you know i look at twos as a connection or a companion But I feel like there's someone that is closed off about choosing your path for some reason. On the back of the deck, we've got the Eight of Staffs and we've got the Count of Cups. So someone that's holding back their emotions. I feel this person, you know, we've got the Count of Staffs coming out on the back of the deck. So this person is very... <clears throat> passionate for you this person could be a person of lust not love this person doesn't like giving love they like hiding their love from others more of a sexually driven person Spirits, what is this Eight of Coins? What's the Eight of Coins for Pisces? So you have the Nine of Cups. So as I was saying, you're working on something at the moment, Pisces. This could be a relationship. This could be something in the material world, but I feel like it is something that is in the material world i feel while you work on this pisces i feel that you could be sad about an ending as to why you're focused on on work at the moment let's make sure they're straight enough but yes as i was saying you could be focused on work but because you're sad about some kind of ending that has happened in your life. I feel that you have, with the paranormal coming out, I feel that you are inquisitive about what's ahead for you. And you know that there's a wish fulfillment coming because we've got that nine of cups coming out. So I feel you're just working hard. You could be working with others at the moment, but you're, you've got your head down you're following your dreams, but I feel at the same time, you could be a little sad over, over some kind of ending also, some kind of decision. But you're getting the work done, Pisces. So what is this Eight of Swords? What's the Eight of Swords for Pisces? So we've got the Decadence, which is the Tower. Aries energy. Strength, Leo energy. And the magician so virgo energy on the back of the deck we've got the king of swords so i feel while you work hard on you know on your life at the moment pisces there's someone in your energy this could be this mature male take what resonates for you but that's what i feel someone that there was some kind of tower moment with tower moment aries energy that could be in their chart but there could have been a relationship or something that you had with this person and it wasn't built on steady foundation this person could also be very addicted to you i feel very obsessed they want you to themselves they want to lock you away so no one else can have you we've got strength coming out leo energy so i feel this person This person feels imprisoned over this decision that happened in the past. As I said, Virgo could be in their chart. Aries could be in their chart. Leo could be in their chart. But something with this person wasn't built on steady foundation. I feel this person needs the strength now to keep pushing on. I feel this person also, with the magician coming out, they could be a bit of a trickster, someone, someone that... 
you know, bluffs. That's what I can, that's all I can think of when I look at this card, like a bluffer. Someone that says they'll do things, but they don't do things. But they have all the tools to do it, but they just don't do it. I feel this person, though, does need to have the strength to come in. I feel they're imprisoned in their mind over, over this ending, over this tower moment. But I feel like you're walking away. I feel like you're doing you. I feel like you may be still a little sad over what, you know, what has happened in the past, but you're still pushing on. You know that there is a plan for you in life, Pisces. What is this Eight of Cups? The Four of Cups. So I feel you're walking towards, you know, you're walking towards a wish fulfillment. I feel that you're you're in this contemplation energy of whether you want to walk on walk away or not because you are still sad over the past. You're sad over this, but this person ghosted you. This person walked away from you because we've got the Seven of Swords coming out. So you need to remember, Pisces, that this this is not fulfilling enough for you. You need to look at the pros and cons and you know, see what weighs up. But I feel you know this isn't this isn't what you want. You know, this person isn't giving you what you desire. So you're going to keep going, you're going to keep pushing on. See with the Seven of Cups card it says delusions. So I feel in a way this person has deluded your mind or like you know what I mean like brainwashed you to think that you can't get any better but you need to know that you do have other choices Pisces this person could be online Swans could be significant to you. I was just thinking of, like, Italy. When I was looking at the statues and the painting on the wall. But I feel this person has missed some kind of opportunity. But even though they've missed an opportunity, Pisces, those butterflies are coming out around you. You've transformed and you're moving on. And you know that, you know that this is, that you're better than this. We've got the Three of Pentacles coming out, so mastership. I feel like once you walk towards, you know, towards that moon, follow that star, there's going to be some kind of collaboration coming. But I feel like there was, you know, a collaboration with this person in the past. This could be a relationship. This could be work. This could be family, but this person was helping you out in some way, but it it wasn't fulfilling enough for you, so you walked away. What is this Magus? What's the Magus for Pisces? The High Priestess? So this is you, Pisces. You're manifesting, you know, what you desire. You could be manifesting something in the material world. You could also be manifesting love you couldn't be manifesting both but you're manifesting i feel you're manifesting fulfillment in life i feel with money i feel with wealth i feel you have all the tools pisces because you're coming out as this magician you have everything you need you just need to start that's the thing virgo energy with the High Priestess coming out, Pisces Cancer energy, intuitively, you know you have all the tools, Pisces. You know you're ready to go, so you need to start. You need to get on this journey and keep doing it. Be the Emperor, because you are in that energy. You are being the Pos. Aries energy. But... 
to me, it looks like it's coming. Once you leave that situation, Pisces, get to work and it's going to come out to you. So what is that hermit? What's the hermit for Pisces? What's the hermit in the center of the reading? We've got the one of wands or the ace of wands. So you're following that path. As I said, things are going to come out towards you because <laughs> we've got a page of cups coming out and we've got the star. So the star Aquarius energy. There could be an Aquarius coming towards you, someone that has water in their chart also, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There could be an age difference between you and this person. They could be like the polar opposite of you. You know, like the complete opposite. This could be same sex. We've got the Justice card coming out. So Libra energy, 11. But yes, yeah, someone's wanting to come in with a connection. I feel you're not only going to get a connection, you're going to get some kind of wish fulfillment in the material world. You know, even though the star is wish fulfillment, whatever that is for you, Pisces, this could be love, this could be career. But when I pulled the card, I felt, I felt something in the material world. I feel you're, you're doing the work and it is amazing to see you're following the star you're following the path there's no more snakes in the road on this card you're a very wise person i feel like you've been taking this journey for a long time so i feel someone's coming into you someone's wanting to give you some kind of love they could have an age difference to you Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, this person wants to give commitment, emotion. But while you do this, there's this other energy, this person that's been false, this person that there was an ending with, someone that you had some kind of tower moment in with the in the past. Aries energy could be in their chart. I feel like they're trying to stop. They're trying to stop this commitment from happening that you're getting into, or they're trying to stop you from moving on. But whatever it is, Pisces, they're trying to. I feel like they're trying to do the prayer. They're trying to stop that snake from destroying the tower. So they don't want something to end. We've got the two of wands coming out. So decisions, you know, the two of wands is being at a crossroads. I feel this person does look up to you. I feel this person. We've got butterflies everywhere all over this card. Like, I feel like this person feels like you are helping them transform. You know, they're like a child when they look up to you. You know, you, you are very wise and, and they know that you're a very wise person. But I feel like there's going to be some kind of decision you're going to have to make if you want to choose this person or not, because we've got the lovers coming out. On the bottom of the card, though, it says ultimatum. So this person could be trying to give you some kind of ultimatum to try and get you to choose them. To me, it looks like you're in some kind of commitment. You could have met somebody, Pisces. And this person is trying to stop that. You know, it's coming out all over the cards. But this person ghosted you. This person likes to say what they have to say and then leave a situation. And what they say is, you know, is the last word. 
and that's not how it should be always you know compromise is always great for a relationship things aren't going to work if compromise is not there or understanding so what is the six of cups what's the six of cups you've got the page of swords so that's if this person does come in to me it looks like this person does want to come in in the future you could be some kind of mother or a parent you know take what resonates for you pisces you could have taurus in your chart but there's someone watching you some kind of soul connection this could be a feminine energy you know the wheels coming out wheel of fortune sagittarius energy that could be in this person's chart But I feel like this is some kind of karmic for you. Changes have been coming out to me, has been coming out to me all day today. Not the word changes, just uh, the number 555 or 55. You know, that's the number for change. So there's something changing in your energy at the moment, Pisces. This could be this ending which is a change for you, or this could be this person. But we'll keep going through the reading. I'll see if I can get something out about this wheel. Let's see if we can get some more about the wheel. Spirits, what's the wheel? Tell us about the wheel. The Four of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups. And the eight of pentacles so someone wants to work on a situation with you i feel this person has been holding back as i said this person is obsessed with you also we've got the queen of cups so i feel like you know who this person is pisces you're coming out on the bottom of the deck there but this person wants to change you know change this cycle and stop it from going around and around you know, this person could be from your past. This person could also be from a past lifetime. With the Six of Cups coming out, I on this deck anyway, I feel like it's a past lifetime soulmate, twin flame. You know, take what resonates for you. You know, a sibling from a lifetime ago. A sibling. Family. So we've got the ace of staffs what's the ace of staffs we've got the eight of wands oh, goodness the eight of cups so eights eights could be coming out to you eights could be significant and the one of swords or the ace of swords five of swords on the back so there's a lot of swords, a lot of communication, messages. Someone's wanting to come in and start a passionate start with you. I feel like they're giving you... Giving you reign of the kingdom or... You know, giving you giving you that staff so you're the you're the one pretty much just trying to get that out but this person's coming with some kind of communication some kind of truth we've got the eight of cups though so as i said this person is leaving some kind of situation I feel this person is sad and they're pushing on. They're in their emotions. There's fish swimming around them. So there's there's emotions all around them. This person is sad, but they're transforming and they're learning. 
because this person is following you. I feel like they want to come out and tell you the truth about something. About some kind of past, a past that you didn't know about. So we've got the Two of Staffs and the Two of Swords. What is this for Pisces? You got the Ten of Wands. Justice. And the Six of Swords. So I feel like you've given up that path. I feel like this person is holding this truth from you. People have free will, so they may or may not come in towards you and tell you the truth. But even if they don't come along, Pisces, I feel you've given up on that situation and moving away. I feel this person needs to do a lot of work on themselves before they come back in. But, you know, that detachment's coming out, so you're letting go. You could have done some cord cutting, you know, take what resonates. You know, if you do want to let go and it's hard to let go of someone, try doing a cord cutting you know, watch a cord cutting video or a ceremony, do a cord cutting meditation, Google about it. But there's a lot of videos on YouTube for cord cutting. So you can just hop off here once you finish listening to the reading and, you know, Google it or like, you know what I mean? Search for it on YouTube and you'll be able to find one, one that's right for you. And the one that you choose is going to be right for you. But I feel like you're moving on. I feel like you know you know, you deserve better. You deserve the world. And you're going to go for it. You're going to go for the world, Pisces. Which is exciting. But I feel this person has their own journey to do. As I said at the beginning of the reading. But you have your own you have your own journey to complete also, Pisces. And you are going along that track very well. At the moment, it doesn't look like you have anything that's stopping you, so beside yourself. So it's time to make the move. So the Six of Swords is coming out on the back of the deck now. So Divine is giving you that message that you need to let go. See, I feel you're worried about letting go. I feel you need to... Think about yourself, Pisces, and think about your happiness. Because Divine has that happiness ready for you. Okay, one more. What is, the ace, what is the Eight of Staffs or the Eight of Wands? What's the Eight of Wands? So we've got the Star, Aquarius Energy. The Five of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Temperance. I feel there's messages coming towards you from this person in the future. As I said, I feel this person has a journey that they need to go on also. And I feel like they're following their star and their star is going to lead them back to you. 
the star Aquarius energy that could be in their chart. It doesn't have to be. But this person looks at you as some, as some kind of wish fulfillment. You could have a child. You know, they're coming back to you in the end. But I feel like this person has a lot going on at the moment. I feel they're leaving some kind of situation that was unfulfilling also. We've got the five of cups coming out. So I feel like they're, they're sad about the endings of what was lost. I feel also they're just, they're in their head. They don't know what to do. He's all stuck and can't get out and they're all looking at him. So I feel this person just feels imprisoned in their own mind. And I feel with temperance coming out on the back of the deck, that you need to have patience if you want this person to come back into your life because they need to do some work. So what is this Count of Cups? What's the Count of Cups? we got the Lovers. The Four of Coins. And the Knight of Coins. So I feel they're going to come back in. This person could be some kind of, as I said before, some kind of soulmate, some kind of twin flame, someone that keeps doing cycles with you. But there are also lessons. I feel this person is obsessed with you, as I said before, because you've got that Four of Coins coming out. I feel like this person likes to up and leave also. I feel like they're leaving a situation at the moment. But with that lovers coming out, Gemini energy, that could be in their chart. It doesn't have to be, but this person feels like you're their soulmate. I feel like they think that you and them are just this divine couple. They could have water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We've got the Knight of Coins coming out. So Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, that could be in this person's chart. But this person, I feel, is coming in very slowly. With that Count of Cups sitting or standing there, He's just, that's the thing, he's just standing there. So even though he is out of the water and he's ready to come in, he isn't moving. So he's moving very, very slowly. And I feel this person will come in. As I said before, you just need to have some kind of patience. But this is some kind of soulmate that was meant to be in your life, Pisces, even though they, they are lying. I feel they will come in with some kind of truth. Eventually, they just have a lot of their own work that they need to do on themselves. So you need to move on and do you. Because I feel like there's there could be someone else that's a soul connection in your life at the moment. Just remember that, sorry, <laughs> just remember that you have more than one soulmate in your life. You know, you have karmics, you have a twin, you have, you know, soulmates. You're supposed to have these people in your life for a reason. Divine has a plan for you. So I'm going to grab out an all seeing heart oracle card and see what divine would like you to know today what you need to work on pisces but yes all over the reading i feel like all over the reading the last two days it's been someone um in your energy that's lying to you or stealing from you or you know cheating but it's it's an energy that's 
someone's holding something back from you, holding information back. And it's pretty much that they'd take it to the grave because we've got coughing coming out. So like it's dead and over and there's still no truth coming out. One card for Pisces, please spirits. One card for Pisces. We've got clarity and truth. Wow. Hidden fears. Okay, let's check these out. Clarity and truth. Your dreams and visions are now enhanced and all faces and memories are crystal clear as your psych returns home and the path ahead emerges. So as I said before, you do need to detach and move on because once you do, you will be able to see the light again. Hidden fears. Bring awareness to your fear. Bringing awareness to your fears will show their true purpose and help you find greater self-understanding and growth. So your fears, you know, are something that you need to look into because they are what is holding you back and you need to overcome them. So whatever these fears are that's holding you back with something holding you back from moving on, holding you back from pushing forward, you need to let go of these and you need to have courage, Pisces. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Thank you for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces. I thank you all for watching, liking, subscribing, joining my Patreon, joining my memberships on YouTube, buying me coffees super thanks everything you guys do it means so much to me having you here just watching every day and being here checking your energy i love it i love being here and helping the pisces community all over the world i i forgot to say when i was looking at this card when i was talking about you having some kind of soulmate in your life at the moment I was looking at the two doves, so I was talking about the two doves yesterday, so, you know, doves mean pure, like innocence, so, you know, something that's pure, real love, true love, so the person that could be in your life at the moment could be something true, but take what resonates for you, Pisces, and I will leave it there, have a great day, have a great weekend, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.